Healthcare in the United States is organized in a complex bureaucracy, while in the rest of the world healthcare facilities are owned mostly by governments or by private sector businesses. In the U.S. a large share of hospitals and clinics are owned by private non-profit organizations. Yet the United States is the country that has the highest health care expenditures in the world. While these expenditures are covered in a large share by public payers as by federal institutions or state and local governments, they can also be covered by private insurance and individual payments. At the same time, unlike most developed nations, the U.S. health system does not provide health care to its entire population. As there is no single nationwide system of health insurance, the United States primarily relies on employers who voluntarily provide health insurance coverage to their employees and dependents. In addition, the government has programs that tend to cover health care expenses for the fragile parts of the society as the elderly, disabled, and the poor. These programs differ from one another, and all have a specific kind of people that are subject to. Getting health insurance in the U.S. is not an easy thing. Someone may think that once you have money everything is easy peasy. But in fact things are a bit more complicated. One must be very careful and look out to pick the right insurance. Health insurance in the United States for non-citizens The United States government does not provide health insurance for all its people. And health insurance is not mandatory for those living in the U.S. It is optional but highly recommended and necessary since health services are very costly. More than in any other country anywhere across the globe, there are two types of health insurance in the U.S. private and public. Most people use a combination of both. The U.S. public health insurances are Medicare, Medicaid, and Children's Health Insurance Program. holder or a beneficiary for specified loss or damage to a specified thing, e.g. an item, property or life from certain perils, or risks in exchange for a fee, the insurance premium. 2. For example, a property insurance company may agree to bear the risk that a particular piece of property, e.g. a car or a house may suffer a specific type or types of damage or loss during a certain period of time in exchange for a fee from the policyholder who would otherwise be responsible for that damage or loss. That agreement takes the form of an insurance policy. 3. 